Hello and welcome to FreePhotoshop.com and this week's video tutorial where we'll set our minds upon creating us some bronze text. And this won't be just any bronze text, it'll be jazzed up with bevels and strokes and shadows, you'll see. So let's make a start by creating a new document. To do that we'll come up to the file menu and we'll select the new command and then from there we'll select blank file. And I'm going to name the file bronze text so we know exactly what we're doing and then I'll set the width and the height to 600 pixels leave color mode set to RGB and I'll make sure the background contents are white and then I'll click OK to create the document. I'll make sure I'm seeing the document at 100% by coming up to the top of the toolbox and double left clicking the zoom tool there we go now let's go ahead and grab the text tool from the toolbox itself just a bit further down and this is where I have to word a disclaimer in case you're working with your own images. The size of the text we add as well as the settings that we're going to apply in form of layer styles coming up in just a few moments will be determined by the size and resolution of the image. So if you're working with another image and you're not following along with me exactly on screen, no problem, but you will have to vary the settings to achieve the same effects as I'm going to get on my screen, which isn't a problem. We're going to work through them, as I said, one by one, so we can have a look at each one as we do so. So let's set up our text. The first thing I'm going to do is click inside the font option, and I'll type in impact, and once I see it appearing, I'll hit the enter key here on the PC or the return key on the Mac. And I'm then going to click inside the font size option and enter a size of 100. Finally, I'll click the color swatch up here in the options bar and I'll drag the color swab down to the bottom left side of the color grid and then I'll press OK. Now I'll click on the left side of the document and I'm going to type in in capitals, I must say, so make sure your caps lock is on. I'm going to type in the name of my website, free Photoshop, just like so and then I'll control or command drag the text into the exact position I want it so if it's a little bit out after you've typed all the letters to get it as close to the middle as possible just go ahead and control or command drag it around and then once we're happy I'll come up to the options bar once again and I'll click the little green tick mark now the first adjustment I'm going to make to the text is to add a subtle drop shadow and to do that we'll need to access our effects panel. So double click the tab to open it or if it's not open at all then go up to the Windows menu and once you can see it in the Windows menu go ahead and click it and that should open it up on the right hand side of the screen. Once you can see it click the layer styles option which is the second icon from the left and then make sure the drop shadows are selected in the drop down menu just like so and I want you to choose this last option named soft edge if you hover your mouse above it so double click the soft edge style to apply the effect to the text and we'll come back and refine that a little bit later on it's not exactly as we want it but as I said we will be making some adjustments a little later on in the tutorial now I want to add the color which is a gradient of light bronze running into a slightly darker bronze now in the full version of Photoshop we'd have the ability to add a gradient layer style but we don't have that luxury here inside of elements unfortunately so we need to work around it what I'm going to do instead is to add a gradient adjustment layer and clip it to the text layer itself so come over to the layers panel and make sure the text layer is active by clicking on it next hold down the alt key here on the PC or the option key on the Mac and click the little black white icon at the bottom of the layers panel and select gradient which will display the new adjustment layer dialog box so go ahead and name it bronze and then more importantly click this option right here use previous layer to create clipping mask so go ahead and click OK once you've done that and we get the gradient fill dialog box come up now so we're going to create a new gradient because we don't want any of the ones that are already existing here inside of elements 
So click the gradient option to bring up the gradient editor and then click this little black white gradient so we can copy and modify it. Come down and rename it bronze just like so and then make sure gradient type is set to solid the smoothness is 100% now come down and click the bottom left color stop and then click the swatch that defines the color stop now I want to enter the following values I want a hue value of 45 degrees a saturation of 40% and a brightness of 89% once you've entered those values click OK now click the opposite color stop and again click the color swatch and this time we want a hue of 45, a saturation of 71 and a brightness of 49. Click OK and now make sure you've given the new gradient a name and then click the new button to save it out as a new gradient. Now click OK again to accept the changes made in the gradient editor and finally make sure the style is set to linear. I'm going to flip the gradient over by using an angle of minus 90 degrees. Scale is going to be set to 100%. Reverse and divver off and align with layer off also. At last I'll click OK to accept all of those changes and I'm going to zoom in a notch here so I can see the characters a little bit better than I'm seeing currently and then I'll come back to the layers panel and I'm going to double click the FX icon next to the text layer to bring back up the style settings. Now I'm going to activate the bevel and this is where we just wing it really, we just look at the screen and visually measure exactly how we want things to be. So I'll try a size of 3 pixels and that seems to work quite well. Next we need to add a stroke so again I'll activate the stroke by clicking in the box and let's try a size of 2 pixels which I think is a little too pronounced for what we're looking for so I'll try taking that down to 1 and that looks better to me. One more change I want to make whilst we're here and that's to rein in the drop shadow slightly. So I'll come up to the drop shadows option and highlight the size value and I'll use the down arrow key until I arrive at something I like which is going to be in this case around 5 I would say right a value of 5 looks pretty good and I'm going to change the distance value as well whilst we're here bringing that down to a value of say 4 yeah I'd say 4 looks good I like all of that so I'll click OK to return to the image now one last piece of business that we need to tend to and that's to adjust this gradient because at the moment the two colors we set earlier are stretched between the top and bottom of the image and therefore we're not seeing much of an effect in the center of the image where the text is so here's what we're going to do actually there are a number of things we could do and perhaps I'll demonstrate some of the more important ones in another video Firstly, we could simplify the adjustment layer and transform it using the transformation commands to a size that better fits the text itself. We could then link the text layer to the gradient layer so that whenever we move the text, the gradient would move also. The second thing we could do is to re-edit the gradient inside the gradient editor and we could add some additional stops to tighten up the gradient as it moves through the text. However, the third thing we could do, and the right thing to do in my opinion, we'll expand on this in another video, but we're going to take the option of amending the scale value essentially. So come back to the layers panel and double left click the gradient adjustment layer. Now if we change the scale value from 100 to 50, we're going to see more difference in the gradient throughout the text. So it's a little more noticeable now that we've got a light bronze at the top transitioning into a darker bronze below and if we decrease the scale value further we see a more profound effect but I'm happy with 50 so I'll click OK to accept the change. Now one of the great things about this text is that it remains completely editable so if I go ahead and grab the text tool from the toolbox over here on the left hand side and then once I've selected that I can drag across the text to select it. And once I've done that I can change the word simply by writing in 
whatever the new text is going to be. So for example, I'll type bronze, because it is a bronze effect after all, and I'll type that in just like so, and it ends up looking just as good as the characters we used to put this together. Also, if I control or command drag it up or down, because we've got the live gradient fill layer under there as well, we get different degrees of the colour depending on where we move it to. Something I could potentially play around with for about five minutes until I get something that I really, really like. But there we have it. Once the text has found its final resting place, I'll hit the shift key to lose all of the panels and other distractions, and we now have our finished effect some smart looking, beveled, stroked and suitably coloured bronze text, all thanks to Photoshop Elements 10. Thanks once again for joining me here at freephotoshop.com and I look forward to seeing you back at the Free Photoshop website. <music>